Hello folks, this is Jamil Sweat for Gunstock Reviews. And today we got a, an interesting uh, rifle that we're gonna be talking about. This is a parts gun. Basically it's a kit gun made out of Brownell's parts. Brownell started selling um, upper receiver, lower receiver and barrels for the M16A1 rifle, which is a, actually a copy of the M16A1 rifle. Um, they call it the BRN16A1 rifle under the Brownell uh, logo. And it is a semi-automatic copy of the Vietnam era M16A1. Uh, I'm here with my friend, Fred Masterson, and Fred is a professional trainer with 30 years experience. And he knows a lot about uh, the M16. He started with this rifle many, many moons ago. And, you know, we're gonna be discussing the features of this rifle, even though it's a build. This is not something that you buy as is. You have to buy an upper receiver, lower receiver, and barrel from Brownells. And then the hard part is fetching all the other parts. I, have, I was lucky enough to be able to find parts for this rifle through the internet, Facebook, and all sorts of other sources. And I found the most difficult to find parts, which are the stock, the grip, the teardrop forward assist, the flash hider, the A1 flash hider, but the rest of the parts are easily found. And sometimes it's kind of hard to find the A1 sights, but I found them all. The handguard is pretty difficult too, and they're very expensive, but if you are patient enough, you'll be able to find uh, all the parts for this rifle. If you notice, this handguard is actually broken. It's got a chunk missing here because this is probably 30 years old. So Fred, uh, tell me what you know about this rifle. Well, first off, congratulations on building a beautiful rifle. Uh, while Brownells gave you the bones to build this, it took a lot of effort, I know it did, to, to uh, accumulate all the other parts that are difficult to find. No, it was really difficult. I can imagine. And those out there watching today that may be in the uh, rebuilding car arena, where you may be um, rebuilding an old 70s or 60s car, or even older, you know how tough it is to find parts. Sometimes for uh, firearms, it's even more difficult. So for example, this handguard, um, I think I think Jamil's been a little uh, humble and insane, uh, not really sharing how difficult it was to find this, especially in this good a shape. Uh, I've seen a lot of them on the market uh, that are really cracked and broken. They've got tape on them and whatnot, and they're still selling. So the fact that you did, did the looking and did the hard work to find everything, did a fantastic job. A little bit about this gun, obviously it's a Vietnam era weapon. Uh, the A1 was really one of the first guns to, to see action in Vietnam, and this gun in its configuration, um, in basic configuration, stayed in service for quite some time. The initial problems that people talk about a lot mm -hmm. with the M16A1 regarding its reliability and things like this, a lot of that, while it's true, a lot of it was based on ammo, maintenance, and things like that, and the military solved that. And the this, conditions in Vietnam. Absolutely. In fact, that that myth, I wouldn't call it a myth really, but that that little cloud has hung over this rifle to modern day times. I still hear people that are half my age um, talk about how unreliable that this platform is when it's dusty or when it's dirty. It's just not true. You keep this gun wet and lubed, it will run. It will run. It's a fun rifle to shoot, low recoil, thick stock like this. If I can, I have a safe area right here. We have a nice safe area. I'll put it on, put my back on safe here. But it's a natural point of aim rifle. It seems to fit really, really well. Um, Stoner's original design, you know, obviously bought by Colt um, from, from the Armalite company, thus the AR, not mm -hmm. assault rifle. Sorry, folks, Armalite. Um, the gun is a nat very natural weapon to shoot. Got a very natural point of aim. It's lightweight, which is very important. Um, I, I've carried some heavier weapons uh, for different reasons, training and whatnot. Um, and I can tell you that something as light as this in the seven plus pound range is a pleasure to carry. Oh, I bet. Pleasure to carry. A lot of people out there talking about how the 5.56 five, round just isn't enough that you, you need to be carrying 308. Well, I encourage you to put on three or 400 rounds of 308 ammo and carry a 308 heavy gun and you go to work with that. Yeah, it's gonna ruin your weekend. It'll ruin your weekend. But this gun is a fantastic history piece. Mm -hmm. um, and it's obviously more than the sum of its parts. Absolutely. This is a beautiful rifle and you've done a fantastic job. And also you were talking about myths. Yeah. There's one myth that people keep telling over and over and I know it's not true. What is that? It does not say Mattel inside of the handgun. <laughs> no, it doesn't say Mattel. Uh, that was a that was a joke started quite a while ago that since it's a quote unquote plastic gun. Well, that Mattel didn't make an M16 
toy. Oh, they did. Yeah. I had one. <laughs> I had one, too. I know. Actually, I want to get one, too. So if you're watching Jeff Donham, I know you have two of them. <laughs> Please send me one. I'm okay? pretty sure that that Mattel gun would cost more than this one. It so. does. It does. <laughs> I've seen I've seen it on eBay going for about about three or four hundred dollars. Wow. So yeah, I really want to get one too. But yeah, this is a great rifle. Um, my friend Sean from Accuracy Speaks in Mesa, Arizona, built this rifle for me. I got on the parts. I can build the lower, but he actually installed the barrel for me and did the uh, finishing. So thanks, Sean. Thanks, Accuracy Speaks for putting together this rifle. Thanks, Brownells for allowing me to get this parts from you at a very reasonable price because the price on this upper lower and barrel is a one in 12 barrel yep. is original it's as original as it is they sell this thing for a really good reasonable price it's a good project so check out your brownells catalog thank you for being with us today and i hope you stay tuned so we can give you more information about uh, any firearms and apparel